Hey everyone, this is Daryl from Crypto Daily Trade Signals coming to you live from Vietnam, guys. We got some massive, huge news, guys. We got some massive, huge news for Cardano. We got some huge news for Polkadot. We got some news for Dogecoin, Bitcoin, guys. And you know, we got more and more evidence that uh, you know this bull run is absolutely going to be happening soon. We're going to see things going up, guys. It's just a matter of time. So, guys, I know a lot of you guys out there, a lot of the retail investors are impatient in the house a lot of you are worrying and i know that a lot of the retail investors are sitting on the sidelines and waiting for confirmation for something to absolutely happen guys something is happening we're seeing that all the layer one and layer two solutions are starting to go up we're seeing phantom is going crazy we're seeing adam cosmos going crazy getting approaching all-time highs guys so we're going to talk about that much much more we got lots of news to cover got a ton of things to cover guys in this video so you guys need to watch this video from start to finish and if that sounds interesting then get ready to jump down the crypto rabbit hole with the OG in the house guys remember this is not financial advice it's just the OG expressing his opinion and this is for education entertainment purposes guys so if you're ready and I'm ready this is the Ric Flair of crypto in the house guys saying god bless let's jump into the content Woo! let's get it guys all right guys let's jump into it guys just a quick reminder a quick friendly reminder remember go back and watch all of my other videos guys you know you want to let's get it guys so right now we're seeing that the uh, the pre-markets the pre-markets in the house they're looking a pretty uh, much down we're seeing that the s p is down we're seeing the nasdaq futures are down right now and uh, we're seeing that the dow is up ever so slightly so hopefully uh, this will help us and hopefully the dow futures will lead the pack and everything will start to turn green guys because if everything starts to turn green then this is going to help uh, with the the crypto markets going up guys so if you look at the heat map right now the heat map is uh, looking pretty it's looking more positive than it was yesterday we're seeing that btc is slightly up half a percent ethereum is up also almost close to one percent so we're going to jump into that some more but before we do that let's talk about some breaking news that's coming out right now we're seeing that samsung guys absolutely samsung in the house is getting some great uh exposure to cardano so this is really huge for cardano in the house and it looks like that samsung and uh, cardano are going to be partnering up together and part of this partnership is has to do with land restoration and planting about two million trees guys so they're going to be using they're absolutely going to be using the cardano blockchain to trace and uh you know manage all of these trees that are going to be uh, planted so samsung to plant two million trees in madagascar by the end of first quarter 2022 in partnership with vtrain cardano blockchain based climate solutions so this is really good for cardano holders congratulations in there some other stuff are coming in we're seeing that sec delays the nydig bitcoin etf decision by two months so it looks like the uh, sec has decided that they're going to delay this by two months they really haven't given any reason for it they're just saying that they're delaying it in the house and we're going to probably see that the sec was more likely going to delay more decisions on future bitcoin uh etfs and spot until the regulation is in space so basically they're not doing any uh approvals of new spot etfs or etfs in general and they're waiting for a uh, whole regulatory framework to come out guys so that is kind of interesting in the house i don't know if this is bullish or bearish but it is interesting we're seeing that coinbase ceo reportedly buys la mansion for 133 million dollars so it just goes to show that uh, uh, being in the crypto space actually pays off guys the estate was formerly owned by ellen uh bromferman hampton the daughter of billionaire uh, seagram's charles uh, broferman so basically they paid 133 million dollars for this uh, property it was owned by a japanese guy uh, called hideki tomita and uh, basically they they bought that so it just goes to show that uh, you know the ceo of coinbase brian armstrong he's got some cash guys he's got some deep pockets so that is kind of interesting it definitely pays to be in the crypto space because it seems that he He's one of the richest uh, guys in the crypto space. He's worth of about $14.7 billion in the house, guys. So three reasons why uh, Bitcoin can reach, uh, Ethereum is going to reach uh, 5000 in Q1. And there's, you know, there's a mix of uh, technical and macroeconomic uh, and on-chain uh, data points that we're going to see Bitcoin rise to above uh, $5,000 soon. And also this same data is also pointing that uh, we're going to see Bitcoin also rising as well, guys. So some of the Ethereum native token Ethereum has plunged more than 20% after establishing its record higher on about four thousand eight hundred and sixty seven dollars and that happened around about the 10th of november and that was when bitcoin was at an all-time high too guys nevertheless the sharp price pullback does not mean that ethereum could not uh go up again i think we're going to see it go up guys and we see that ethereum is forming this huge falling wedge right now and if we can break out of this falling wedge then this is going to be a confirmation absolutely confirmation in the house that we are going to see five thousand dollars coming in and some other stuff we can see that 
you know, data collected by blockchain analysts, uh, Glassnode, shows that the number of on-chain Ether deposits to exchanges has dropped to a 23-month low. So we're, once again, this is all about supply shock in the house, guys, and we're seeing more and more uh, Ethereum being taken off exchanges than putting back on exchanges. And also, too, another metric that is also uh, showing us that uh, we could absolutely be seeing uh, Ethereum being breaking, breaking out soon is that we can see that the, the additional another Glassnode matrix, Ethereum addresses that sending uh, ETH to uh, exchanges reportedly sent declines guys so typically when traders send ethereum onto exchanges means they're going to sell and we're seeing that it has declined almost 11 percent guys in the last 30 days so this is kind of cool and bullish news for ethereum so if you're a ethereum maxing house this is cool news we're seeing that china's digital uh, yuan wallet app is now in OS, uh, is now available in ios and android and app stores so hopefully you know now that uh, you know central china bank has released this wallet hopefully they'll start getting bullish again about crypto and i think one of the reasons why they said no and they were kind of negative on crypto was because they didn't want to have anything interfering with their whole e sny the cbdc so that's out so let's see and hope that china will uh, change the stance on uh, crypto so let's keep an eye on that that is could potentially be bullish guys we're also seeing exchange token source 28 percent after uh, crypto uh, giant binance uh does an eight in a figure investment an eight figure investment guy oh you get your words right i'm outside right now just on my balcony so i thought i'd give you guys a bit of background on what's going on over there some that's some rice fields over there in case you're wondering what that is got some palm trees out there so it looks like uh you know woo network woo token in the house uh is uh you know they've increased by about 28 percent since they've had this uh infusion of cash from binance and large banks are becoming uh becoming uh and beginning to launch into crypto trading services uh, and this is response to the uh, digital asset boom and we're seeing that more and more high street banks are starting to ape into crypto and you know basically they have no choice but to offer these services to the customers because if they don't do that then we're going to see that these customers are going to go to other banks that are so we're seeing that commonwealth bank the biggest bank in australia says it will be the first in the nation to allow customers to buy sell and hold crypto so that is pretty bullish in the house guys don't forget to go down there smash the like subscribe and tell me what you think about that meanwhile a group of savings banks in germany is reportedly testing a trading network that would allow 50 million customers to buy and sell bitcoin ethereum and other cryptos via their banking app guys so it looks like we have one of the biggest uh, german savings banks as well it looks like they're going to be aping into that and allowing customers to buy and sell and hold uh some cryptocurrency on their bank account so this is cool guys this is absolutely cool we're still seeing that the u.s financial giants like bank of new york mellon fidelity are also offering crypto services to large institutional clients but mainstream retail clients are are, are not uh, don't have access to this we're seeing that some credit unions in the u.s are also starting to uh contemplate adding crypto services uh, to their customers as well. Now, this is really big news, guys. Tech giant integrates with Polkadot. It looks like Deutsche Telekom has just purchased a whole bunch of uh, Polkadot uh, tokens, and it looks like that they're they're going to be teaming up with Polkadot, investing in interoperability, blockchains, and ecosystems uh, by purchasing uh, DOT tokens. So this is very good, guys. Uh, you know, tel Telkom, you know, Telkom recently announced a subsidiary a company, T-Systems, MMS, plans to use Telkom's infrastructure to participate in uh, Polkadot's public blockchain network as a validator. So they're going to use, uh, you know, Polkadot and their blockchain as a validator, a validator for payments, and this, is, and this and that. So this is good news in the house guys so let's keep go let's keep going through the news guys we've got lots of news and then we're going to talk about some of the technicals and some of the reasons why i think we're going to see bitcoin and other cryptos start to go out guys so it looks like uh the game industry will rapidly adapt NFTs despite backlash, uh, says Sandbox, Sandbox CEO. So basically, you know, Sandbox co-founder thinks that 2022 will be the breakout year for NFT pay-to-play gaming, guys. But right now, there's some pushback because a lot of a lot of traditional gamers right now they are kind of having a hard time transitioning from you know their typical PlayStation, Xbox games and moving you know moving their brain cells onto this whole nft to play because remember a lot of these guys have invested a lot of real money in buying different kinds of 
potions and weapons and all that kind of stuff. So that is one of the reasons that there's a bit of resistance and a bit of a backlash going on. And we're also seeing that some of the major gaming companies are also pushing back as well because they quite don't understand the space and they're worried that it's going to affect their revenue stream, guys. So that is what's going on with the metaverse and gaming. So, you know, it's not going to be the quick uh, adoption like that. And uh, as you guys know that on uh, the uh, 3rd of uh, uh, January, we had Bitcoin was 13 years old. And uh, this is from Lynn Adenhaus. And she's really saying that, you know, Bitcoin is only 13 years old, but the U.S. dollar is 50 years old. But we're still seeing that we are going to be seeing Bitcoin continue to go up. Sometimes you need to zoom out, look out, and uh, follow the trend, guys. And we're seeing that in 2020. 21 we saw that gold was not a good hedge against in uh, inflation and it went down guys so some other stuff that's coming out in case you guys don't know that the sigma sharks nft project was a complete rug pull it looks like barney the guy that started this has basically absconded with all the money and he's left town he's unreachable and he's gone dark guys so this is just another another warning out there that you guys have to be very very careful so it looks like barney has gone to the somewhere maybe he's gone to mars guys but he took out took all the money and he's gone and he's out of there we're seeing that the uh, the uh, fear and greed index right now has moved up from 23 and it's at uh, 24 so i believe this is a good time to be buying the dip you should be considering it too i believe it's a good time to buy the dip this is not financial advice what do you guys think is this a good time to buy the dip are things going to go up are things going to go down i'd love to hear what you have to say guys uh some other stuff is coming in right now you can see that sentiment on bitcoin is still extremely uh, fearful and remember this indicator this indicator is often is often based on a couple of metrics guys and those metrics are right here volatility momentum and volume social media surveys and dominance guys but you know typically this is a contrary indicator and what you want to do is you want to buy on the way down and sell on the way up guys so right now things are going down so this in my opinion is a good time to be buying a biddy dollar cost averaging holding and waiting for life-changing wealth guys so if you guys are looking at short-term gains this is not this is not the time or place because we're going to see some volatility coming guys absolutely there's going to be some volatility but if you're looking at long-term gains one year two years three years four years five years out you cannot miss with Bitcoin, we're seeing supply shock less and less. Bitcoin is being mined, guys. We've got 90% of all the Bitcoin that's going to be in existence already out there, guys. And we're seeing that supply shocks on exchanges are definitely going down. So we're going to be seeing that the price will fall out and we're going to see Bitcoin going up, and up, up soon, guys. And when Bitcoin goes up, we are absolutely going to be seeing that all the other old coins are also going to be going up as well. So we're seeing that Bitcoin's public skepticism by reputable sources peaked in 2017. Despite higher price in 2021, stood at a 62% reduction in skepticism. So we're seeing that the people who are doubtful and skeptical about Bitcoin has been reduced by 62%, uh, you know, since 2017. And skepticism compared to that 2017 all-time all high. So we're seeing that more and more people are less skeptical, less skeptical about Bitcoin. And we're seeing that so that's why the mainstream adoption of Bitcoin is going to be going up. And when that happens, we are going to see prices going up. And we're still waiting, as I said in the intro, we're still waiting for the retail investors to FOMO back in. I don't know what happened. Uh, they all, you know, put their head in the sand, but they're definitely waiting for some confirmation of a breakout before they jump in. But if they start to jump in, when start to, things start to move up, it's going to be too late, guys. They're going to be, you know, chasing the tail of the rock and they will get burnt and they will crash to the moon and uh, it's not going to be good. So historically, guys, the fear and green index has indicated top and bottom levels, but right now we are at the bottom level. So you can see this indicator and this is from trading view uh, this is trading view and uh, the fear and greed index overlaid on it and as you can see when the fear and greed index is low i mean you know people in extreme fear you can this indicates uh, a bottom when people in extreme greed this indicates a top so right now we're absolutely at a bottom guys we're absolutely at bottom this is and this is uh, 46,823 so you can see that we have not even reached the top and I believe there's still a lot of gas in the tank for Bitcoin. And when that happens, we're going to see Phantom. We're going to see Dogecoin. We're going to see Shiba Inu. We're going to see everything moving with momentum to the upside. You're going to love it. I'm going to love it, guys. So don't forget to go down there. Smash the likes. Let's smash the likes, guys. Give some super chats, guys. And don't forget to comment and comment in the house, guys. Let's keep moving, guys. We've got lots of stuff to talk about. Uh, you know, and we have to wait and see the approach. Three, three quarters of Bitcoin supply is now illiquid. 
And this is really important metrics, guys. And we're seeing right now that three quarters of all Bitcoin, Bitcoin is illiquid. It's gone into private hands. It's on, it's, it's off the exchanges. It's on hardware wallets. And we're only seeing that about 24% of the total supply of Bitcoin is still available on exchanges, guys. So we're seeing a huge, massive acceleration right here, right now of a liquid supply and so at some point something's got to give when the supply of bitcoin continuously goes down d -d -d down down the price has to move and we're going to see this price is going to explode guys we're just waiting for this whole catalyst and i believe by january 8th uh to january 18th we're going to see a huge movement guys so this is this is from tech dev he's saying that the midterm base case it, until unva is inval invalidated trends are com converging soon so he's basically saying that if we look at the 2020 factual and overlay on the 2021 factual we're seeing that the rsi is the same we're seeing that the macd's are pretty much the same and this is going to be a point of breakout in 2020 we did see a point of breakout with at the same technical level so we should be seeing a breakout based on the technical analysis right in front of us right now so if you think that bitcoin's going to break out if bitcoin's going to get to two hundred thousand dollars in spring smash the likes subscribe byb you know you want it i want it everybody wants it guys we all want to get there and we're going to get there pretty soon guys some other stuff from tech dev right here we're seeing that uh, you know if we look at the logarithmic uh, 1.27 and the logarithmic 1.618 has historically been a consolidation zone for uh, Bitcoin. And we can see that, you know, this has always been a key consolidation zone and the key zone properties on a weekly basis, we're seeing price high, price makes higher lows. We're seeing that right now. RSI makes lower highs. We're also seeing that right now. And support from around uh, the near, around 1.472 before exiting and the RSI 1.472 uh, and above. So we're seeing similar patterns happening you know, we had the crossover, we had the having, we had the crossover, we had the having, and we're seeing something similar right now. So it means that when we see Bitcoin start to cross over the 1.618, uh, we're going to see a huge momentum to the upside, and that is about to happen, guys. So keep an eye on Bitcoin. We're going to see something huge for Bitcoin, and Bitcoin's going to absolutely break out. And now, trending for Dogecoin, and Dogecoin needs to move above the $20 to avoid a bear market, guys. So right now, we need to see Dogecoin start to get above. Above 20 cents guys so dogecoin needs to get into this area right here if dogecoin does not do that then it's going to confirm that dogecoin is going to enter a bear market and doge will probably go down to 16 14 13 cents in the house guys so we really need bitcoin to make a move to send dogecoin up uppity up up and right now dogecoin is just going sideways at 16.96 guys in the house and we really need dogecoin to get a moving guys the sun's going down behind me guys and it's getting dark it's getting scary out here let's take a look at shibi weeby right now so shibi weeby right now we're seeing that Shibi Weeby right now is starting to make a move to the upside. It's at 32.84. So we're, 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 we can kind of move this trend line over here. It's starting to make a bit of an upside. So hopefully we'll get enough momentum out there to take Shiba Inu past this uh, 33 uh, resistance level, guys. So keep an eye on that. It's just been going range bound. We're seeing a lot of consolidation, not only for Shiba Inu, not only for Dogecoin, for most of the cryptocurrencies, we're seeing huge, huge consolidation, guys. So let's jump into Matus Dow and take a look at that. So Matus Dow right now in the house is up 5.8%, uh, and Matus Dow is going to explode, guys. And I believe that we could see $1,000 coming in for Matus Dow in 2022. I did tell you guys about three months ago when it was at like 89 bucks to jump into this baby. So hopefully some of you have done that smash the likes comment and don't forget to give a super chat guys and let me know in the comments did you did you or did you not get into made style uh, around about 90 days if you did you'd be up 344 percent you'd be up 3.4 x guys so this is huge actually huge in the house guys so let's take a look at a bidding in the house so right now we can see that bitcoin is trading at 46,856 i believe that if the markets turn bullish if the markets turn bullish the broader markets turn bullish we're going to see bitcoin over 47,000. so hopefully when you guys wake up in america you can take it higher and higher and higher so this is a bitcoin chart on um, the daily right now and we can see that the bull market support at forty thousand dollars so we have huge support at forty thousand dollars bitcoin price could continue to be range bound uh within the range you know so and then we've seen this range since december 4th and i think this is going to probably continue either to january 8th or could extend to around about january 18th so don't expect too much happening until after january 18th or the earliest january um, ninth guys so that is what i'm thinking and that's what i think is going to happen for bitcoin let's take a look at bitcoin on the four hour once again bitcoin is being supported right here at this level 
and that is the uh, forty-six thousand dollar level, and it's absolutely being supported right there, right now, guys. So once again, we're going to continue range, being range bound. We could break out either at the January eighth, ninth, or at the latest at the eighteenth, guys. So buckle up and hold on. Let's take a look at uh, let's take a look at Cosmos in the house. Looks like uh, Cosmos. You know, we had all these previous all-time highs around about uh, forty-five dollars. We broke through it once. Uh, got pretty close twice and right now it looks like um uh, Cosmos is attempting to break out again. So uh, Cosmos is trading around about uh, forty-one dollars, but the train has definitely left the station for Cosmos. So hopefully you guys are holding Cosmos. We have talked about it in the past on this channel. So hopefully you're loading up with the Cosmos in the house. Now we're seeing Ethereum is actually absolutely making some moves right now. We've had this whole descending channel as I talked about in the previous uh, segment, and that uh, Ethereum is looking to break out, guys. And we could see five thousand dollars coming in pretty soon for Ethereum. Ethereum right now is at three thousand eight hundred and twenty two dollars and we could see ourselves break out of this descending channel and if that happens it's going to be a very bullish move for ethereum and now we're seeing that uh, uh, phantom in the house is at three dollars and twelve cents so phantom is going crazy it's in price discovery mode and today phantom uh had a high a high in the house of about uh, three dollars and fourteen cents three dollars and fifteen cents so i think that if the if bitcoin does make a move and if uh, if absolutely the broader markets go positive we can see phantom once again reaching all-time highs and i believe it is not going to be in Impossible for Phantom to hit six to ten dollars by the springtime, guys. So buckle up, Phantom is definitely going to the moon. We're seeing that uh, Solana, nothing is really happening. This Solana is literally going sideways right now. It's right at the resistance support level, one hundred and seventy dollars, and it's absolutely going sideways. And I think we're going to see some consolidation at least until. Uh, January 9th to the 18th and somewhere in that range then we're going to see all the cryptos absolutely explode to the moon guys and right now we can see that the OG crypto portfolio right now we're still up 78.18 percent this is not financial advice just the OG in the house expressing his opinion this is all totally for educational purposes and we're seeing that we're still up uh, we have a total profit of about uh, 8,947 is our total balance excuse me and our profit is pretty close to 4k guys so we're still looking pretty good overall we're still up so all the Debbie downers that say OG no nothing thing and he's just full of you know what well guys the numbers don't lie we're right here so all i gotta say to you guys is okay so get a life guys stop this and start being lovers stop being haters guys so you're gonna love it i'm gonna love it so right now we're seeing that the total market cap right now is at 2.31 trillion the volume is still pretty light at 63.47 billion we've seen the dominance coming down so this is pretty good so when bitcoin makes a move we should see the old coins start to scream ahead guys and we're seeing that the bitcoin is uh, up one uh, percent almost one percent and it's at 46,861 we're seeing that ethereum right now is at 3,833 so that's looking pretty good and that's up almost one and a half percent. We've seen BNB up over just half a percent, and that's at 516 bucks, guys. Solana is making some moves because this morning was in negative territory as a Debbie Downer, and we're absolutely seeing Solana right now is up 1.41 percent. It's at 170 dollars. We're seeing that. Uh, ADA is up, but it's just kind of going sideways right now. We're seeing XRP is uh, up as well. Uh, I don't know why I'm talking about XRP. I don't like XRP. Whoops, my mistake. And we're seeing Luna right now is down 1%. It's at 86.95. But I believe that the layer ones are absolutely in a micro cycle. And this is a time that layer ones are definitely going to be exploding. Go to the moon, guys. And we're seeing right now that Polkadot is up 2.2%. Uh, so that's looking pretty good. It's at 30 bucks, guys. And it's up almost 17%, uh, over 17% in the last 30 days. So that's pretty good good we're seeing avalanche right now is also uh up uh, also down just slightly it's at 106 106 bucks so it's kind of neutral we're seeing that the doji woji is also picking up some speed and it's up uh, it's up at uh, 17 cents right now and that's up uh, just over half a percent we're seeing the shibi weeby right now the shibi weeby in the house is at uh, 33 and that's up slightly but shibi weeby needs to get up past its support level and we're also seeing that manic is also making some moves right now guys and it's up so slightly so hopefully this can turn green and take everything positive now guys chain link is making some moves guys chain link is up 45 percent in the last 30 days 24 percent in the last seven and it's up almost 10 percent right now it's at 25.94 so guys hold on to your horses do not worry i think uh i think chain link is absolutely going to be going crazy guys so right now we can see that cosmos atom right now is up uh, 3.1 percent and it's only eight percent of off its all-time high of 44 dollars in the house guys i think we're going to be hitting all-time high going in price discovery mode for 
Cosmos Atom. Once again, another layer one solution, guys. And we're going to be hitting there pretty soon, guys. So also, too, good news, guys. The channel, we just hit 61 subscribers in the house, guys. So congratulations. Thank you for being part of this family. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And guys, don't forget to go to my uh, Twitter. Follow, follow, follow. We got 3,629 people in the house. So follow, follow, follow. Do it right now, guys. You're going to love it. I'm going to love it. Get it, get it, get it. The sun's going down, guys. The sun's absolutely going down. Scary, scary. So go down there. Smash the likes. Subscribe, BYB. Comment, to comment to in the house, guys. Let's get it, guys. And don't forget to go down there and uh, follow my links, guys. Become a Patreon member. Buy the channel on coffee. Show some love in the house, guys. And don't forget to check out the Weefy Wifey channel. Go get it. Get on over there and smash that button right there. And there's a whole bunch of cool videos out there. Go and do that right now. Get it, get it, get it. And uh, don't forget and check out the uh, check out the merch, guys. Get the mug, the mug. Get the backpack, get the backpack, guys. And we got tons of stuff in the background and tons of tons of merch. Gear up with the OG merch. Gear up, absolutely gear up, guys. Be part of the cool team the cool crowd so guys i just want to say god bless each and every one of you in the house guys it's a great time to be alive do not panic yes crypto is going sideways it's boring but i believe that we're going to see crypto and dogecoin and shiba inu absolutely take off to the moon guys so god bless you make every second count i'll see you in the next one Woo!